This is a vacuum flask. It has a side arm. You need to attach vacuum tubing. This is thick wall tubing that will not collapse when pressed on by atmospheric pressure. The end of the vacuum tubing attaches to the aspirator here. Now if I turn on the water, it starts sucking air here. So this is a vacuum on this side. Buchner funnel looks like this. It has a sintered glass frit here and it comes in different porosities. This is M for medium. It will sit on top of the vacuum flask. I may need to push down but I'm feeling a significant vacuum here on the top and that's as it should be. Air is being pulled out of the flask and is going through the frit. Before I turn off the water I need to break the vacuum on this side. I can hear it sucking the air now. Turn off the water. If you don't break the vacuum first, you can get water spilling back. Maybe I'll demonstrate. Here I've got a vacuum on this side and now I'll turn off the water without breaking the vacuum and you can see water spills back into my vacuum flask. So that's horrible. So instead, break the vacuum before you turn off the water. When you actually do vacuum filtration, you'll have a slurry, that is crystals in some sort of solvent, and you pour that in the top of your Buchner funnel. The vacuum will pull the solvent through the frit at a fairly rapid rate, leaving you with the crystals on top of the frit. The vacuum will also serve to dry your crystals. It'll start drawing air through the frit, here you can see that it's, it's pulling air through the frit now. And so that will dry your crystals similar to blowing nitrogen over them. In the end, you should have your crystals on top in a fairly dry state, and you'll need to scrape them out with some spatula.